he had everything he needed in that yeah. moment. He was like, if he jumps above me, I up B. Right. If he rolls behind, I got side B. And he knew that Epic Gabriel wanted to go for that defensive option right. because he was camping the platform. Right. He knew KO Punch was there. He yeah. knew he wanted to avoid it. And the KO Punch itself, mentally, yeah, it's that, mental, was, it's, that was it's, in it's, the, his favor. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of pressure just having that. I think the platform's just like moving away in that last second. That, it messed it, him up. He was like, helped. oh, now I'm forced to yeah, stay grounded now, now, on stage here. Now I got to fight him. Now I got to fight him in a neutral grounded state. Oh, my God. Lil Mac. I was... Yeah, he just didn't really contest him off stage. There were so many times that Lil yeah. Mac was just allowed to like drift in and I then think the do his upbeat. Hit, honestly. Yeah. I think the nerves hit that very end there when he um, had Lil Mac uh, from the up air, sending him off stage. You saw he tried to go for the laser as it was fully charged. Right. Did it hit him with the laser. Um, instead, buffered a roll on the platform instead of possibly, I feel like he was trying to go off stage into something. Right. Felt like he was going to try to go off stage and maybe see another Oh, yeah, yeah the him. roll on the right yeah, side, pla exactly. on the top platform. Yeah, it felt like he was going to like try to run off in like forward air yes. or something. And then, but it, then he just he did the roll. Man. I think so, yeah. There were, he definitely had a few opportunities to get like a solid edge guard. With little to no risk. I see West behind me. He's like clutching his heart. Those type of games, though, gets exciting for you. Yeah. You know, like, oh, yeah, that's, that gets what, that's what gets you kind of addicted to Smash, Oh, man. yeah, that gets the heart pumping. Once, you get, once you get one victory like that, you're hooked. You, yeah. You, you're never leaving Smash yeah. after that. You know those guys that say I quit, but then they're back at nah, your local in two back. weeks? <laughs> they're back. They're back. They're, they're chasing that feeling. <laughs> yeah. You'll remember that for a while to come, man. Oh, yeah, man. Winning I've on stream, on stage at Genesis 6. There's a, like a hell of people behind us. That's a good feeling. Yeah, we got a great crowd out here. Mm -hmm. Genesis 6 in Oakland, California, you guys. It's only oh, going to yeah. get better from here. Oh, Had yeah. Had a pretty nice set. This past set, Epic Gabriel versus West. West taking it. I, I honestly consider that an upset. I it sounds it. like it. If, if uh, Gabriel beat Mewtwo King at a different tournament, it sounds like a little and upset. Gabriel is easily probably going to be PR'd in his region um, for Ultimate as well. He's been getting a good amount of wins. And uh, on Prince Ramen too, you know, being a good player who had taken a zero at CEO and Smash 4 during right. his, one of his primes. The Politanum player and uh, just a plethora of other uh, other players that are really, really strong in terms of talent at CFL. So right. um, really good stuff to Wes for taking it. And speaking of CFL, we got another player from CFL, Kiki, who uh, made Diddy Kong in Smash 4. He told me he's having a little bit of a character crisis right now as right. he's uh, fluctuating between uh, Diddy and Wario. He doesn't like the way Diddy really feels in this game. Um, comparatively, we were talking about it yesterday and we said, we, we kind of agreed that character feels like he, he has weights on his feet. Okay. So it feels a little differently. So we're actually opting to go for the Wario here. Hey, trying to, yeah. Wario's pretty solid, oh, man. Oh yeah, most definitely. I mean, Tweak has shown us that. Yeah, Tweak is just like showing us how strong Wario is with his combo game, the neutral air linking into the bears, the tilts, the dash attacks. Yeah, Wario's definitely got a great tool set this uh, this game. So not a bad switch to go from Diddy to Wario. Can't blame him for that. And on the other end, we have Pikachu. Yeah, we got Pikachu, and I believe um, this Let is the C from Las Vegas. Going really pretty ham on the Vegas C too, so he's got his homies, you know, yeah. right behind him. Vegas, Nevada not being, you know, too far, but not too close either. Right. Quite right. of a drive too. Yeah, again, everyone's just gonna uh, got to come out for Genesis, man. This exactly. is that tournament. Great patience though, dashing back to dash back into grab, getting yeah. that drag down fair and doing a really good job at making it hard for Kiki to recover. Yeah, he I like does the not have a bike anymore, yeah. Right, right, and the multi hitboxes that Pikachu was throwing out does the forward air and then jumps back with back air. Definitely punishing Wario really solidly on that edge guard. Yeah, you know, another character that could make crazy comebacks from an insane move like <laughs> KO Punch is Waff. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is very true. Getting that slap there. <laughs> just just walks a little bit away, just waddles away. Yeah, Wario. Z's pressure right now is insane. Keeping the bike by the ledge. Actually tossing it off stage to see if maybe Zeke was going to opt to jump. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, whipping that graph. And Z just doing a good job of preventing Kiki from really landing any hits right now. Just applying so much pressure around his shield. Yeah, with the quick attacks. Yeah. The quick attack pressure is actually very solid. It's tough for Wario could, uh, to contend with because it's so fast and... If, you, if you'd like, you can go away to a neutral position, like just quick attack far enough away, or you yeah. can continue the pressure by going behind the shield. Yeah, and using the platforms to your advantage to, to ledge cancel it and land, uh, similar to what we saw with Palutena. Right, right. That's very cool. Okay. So many down airs. Yeah, and that fair 
keeping Kiki off stage. Not looking pretty good for Kiki right here as he gets caught by the forward smash. Unfortunately, missing the ledge invincibility he could have gotten if he recovered a little bit um, more low enough. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then magnetic hands on onto the ledge. Okay. Oh, and that dash tag hits the sour spot too, and then usually KOs, but gets the up air anyway. He's, he's still applying this pressure with Fair, and I feel like that's the, that's what he's been applying his pressure with is Fair, aside from Quick Attack, as yeah. a way to maneuver himself around Kiki. For sure, just like drifting in and out with multi-hit moves like that, around the shield in particular, is a lot of pressure that uh, is difficult for Kiki to get around. Yeah, and you see he does have Walt as he is glowing. Okay. Oh expecting uh, Kiki to actually recover below the ledge, as you saw, he tried to throw out that down air just in case, but Kiki avoiding it, knowing better and recovering from above the ledge instead. Mm -hmm. And also, nice to note that whenever Pikachu does do uh, a quick attack like that, he does extend his hurt box significantly, Ooh. but doesn't matter because he drops off the stage, gets that down air spike, the Dang. new down air that Pikachu has in this game that right. actually spikes. I mean, aside from the fact that Pikachu's Nair now, very similar to Mewtwo's Nair in general, as it does have yep. that multi-hitting move, mm -hmm. and uh, it lingers for quite some time as you could drift with it. Yeah, yeah, you can do the little lightning loops that you have with Pikachu, Pikachu combos, but... uh. Man, that down air hit so hard. It felt like Pikachu just kept in control the whole time against Wario, just with like the uh, Wario would just be stuck in shield. Yeah, and it seems just be quick too much attacking. pressure. Too much yeah. pressure. Like what? What can you really do? Every time he did get a hit, he got like a couple, couple little um, Wario combos, but not enough to really turn the tide. Yeah. And he's thinking of the oh, character yep. swap, the Diddy, as you mentioned yeah. earlier. That, that's the character crisis speaking to you, man. Yeah. When the second character you've been picking up for not too long doesn't work out for you, stick to what you feel most comfortable with. Yeah. And Kiki being uh, probably one of the best Diddy Kong, not one of the best, mm -hmm. of the state especially. Um, uh -huh. He was ranked in Smash 4. Did pretty good at the tournaments that he did show up to. So it's quite unfortunate that he's having a character crisis. I hate, I, I'm having a character crisis. Oh, so man. I feel well, him, man. Dude, there's so many characters and then like the, the game is changing and all the characters are way different than what they were from uh, previous iterations yeah. of the game. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I do think that um, in, a, in a situation like this when your back is against the wall, a character that you've played with for years... Could do a lot better for you. And you yeah. could recognize maybe different situations that you didn't with the other character you were messing around with. Right. You need to figure out why you were getting punished for certain things. You could see it as a little bit more of an eye-opener when you play a character that you are used to. Right, yeah, I, I completely agree. And the pressure that um, he was doing against the Wario on shield doesn't seem to be as strong on Diddy because he has a little bit stronger moves and like longer hitboxes. Mm -hmm. And he's got the banana, which I think might be able to help. Yeah, the banana to work with if he has the chance. Oh, I like that high recovery of narrowly avoiding that Nair. Yeah. Pikachu does still seem like he has the advantage, but Diddy's speed is... It feels like Diddy's speed is helping out a little bit yeah, most against definitely. the pressure. Oh my, he could oh. not... Yeah, he could not have hold shield anymore there. It would have done too much shield pressure and possibly broke his shield. Right. Okay. Great roll, avoiding that forward smash, something that we've been seeing from Z a lot and consistently getting. That's how we saw Z take uh, Kiki's first stock of that last game. Right. Or sorry, that second stock of that last game. Mm -hmm. Wow. Skull bash though, coming through, catching Kiki. Nice. Ooh, up tilts, up tilts, up air. We got combos out here. Yeah. Kiki being a menace. Ooh, he tries to run out there with the thunder. That would have been big. But Kiki already doing like a bit better with Diddy, it feels like. It oh, feels yeah. like he he really understands this character. And even with like his banana setups, banana pressure, it feels like he's doing a little bit better. Oh yeah, most definitely. This is what he's used to here. But struggling oh, to get back on stage. Great tech though coming from Kiki. Z mm -hmm. still continuing the pressure. So right. I try to go for that down air. Great use of the quick attack, managing to get around Kiki and not land in front of him. Right. Man, this Pikachu pressure. Okay, forward smash, that will KO him. Now something interesting to note that in Smash 4, if you down air the banana, anyone's down air, um, as long as it hit the banana, you can land laglessly. And I'm not too sure if it's in this game since I haven't really been seeing a lot of ditties, but noting if Z lands on the banana with down air, if it is a potential truth there, he can land into down air into any attack, possibly a grab into a mix-up, he can huh. actually trick Kiki himself. I see, I see. Oh, oh my god, the shield. shield pressure is so small, looking like a skittle out here. Yeah. Gets that near into Fair. Ooh, try to, he tried to trap him there with the down tilt, but Z getting off that situation, um, getting off the platform in general. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, up beats the ledge. Throws the banana out. A little bit of banana pressure, but Pikachu back airs out of shield to get Diddy off of him. Yeah, it's a great um, out of shield option, especially if you see your opponent's trying to cross you up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, for sure. 
going way off stage again. That is oh, oh my the goodness! Spike! Yes, using the down air by the Ooh. ledge to catch what Kiki was gonna do, trying to get the ledge invincibility as uh, he tried to get the grab there. Yeah. Jeez. The edge guarding has been really solid from the Pikachu's end. Yeah. Z. Z is out here. Z ain't playing, man. Z, no. he got a crowd behind him, cheering him up too. Okay, banana into forward smash. 33%, not too heavy of a lead. Nope, not at all. A lot better than what we saw from the Wario. Most definitely, right. you see uh, Kiki holding on to neutral a lot more consistently now compared to when he was Wario in the last game. Yeah, I think just like the speed of Diddy is really helping him out, especially with the yeah, out of shield option. Yeah, to stay up, up to uh, toes with uh, Z's pressure as well. Right, yeah. And he's also actually very smart about his out of shield options. Like he's mixing up rolling along with everything else to get out as soon as he sees the, uh, the quick attack try to hit him. Right. Like there, see, it's like a very smart, mm -hmm. well-timed roll. And that's why you see him hold shield now, because he knows that Z is going to try to cross him up with dash attack, but oh my gosh, bad situation here. Using his own banana against him. Yep. Z managed to get another re-grab. Okay, no thunder. Yeah, we get we DI away from those. That's exactly yeah. what Kiki did in that situation. Not trying to get caught by the thunder, especially if he's by the ledge. It's going to be a KO for him. Oh. Managing to get the forward smash, putting Z in a pretty bad position here. He's at 77%. Right, You right. saw he tried to go for the banana by the ledge, possibly maybe looking for a downer of his own. Skull Bash yeah. being such a strong tool to catch jumps with. Right. Oh, my. Okay. oh he air dodged. Oh, again, very, very close to KO percent. Oh, what a... What a thunder jolt! Yeah, they're cl clipping them barrels. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the banana causing him to slip up oh, a little bit. Back here off ledge. Trying to go for the skull bash by the ledge again to try to catch Kiki, trying to recover. But that back. Oh, yeah, and another like skull shield. bash. This Pikachu. That was a way better game, that second game, and yeah. I feel like.